Welcome to part one and section one of our course. So here you will learn pandas coding from scratch. But before we move to our Jupyter environment and start coding, first of all, I want to introduce uh, the concept of tabular data and some terms and vocabulary that I will frequently use uh, throughout the course. So in the whole course, we will work with data that is organized in a tabular manner. And in pandas, this is a so-called pandas data frame. So this is here a pandas data frame. And we can actually see here that we have here five famous football players and some characteristics of these players. So nationality, the club, and then whether the player won the world championship with the, the national team, then the height and the goals in the season 2018. So this is exactly the tabular structure that uh, we are faced uh, with uh, throughout the course. And uh, let's have a look at uh, some vocabulary. So first of all, let's have a look here at the one player. It's uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, this is actually one row. So we have here rows and we have here columns. So for example here, the height of uh, the football players is a column of our data frame. And actually one single element, so for example, uh, the height of Cristiano Ronaldo, so 1.87 meters, is an element, a value on entry of a data frame. And next here we have a subset or a slice of our data frame. So we have uh, two players and only the columns, uh, nationality and club. Next, we can see here on the left hand side the row index of our data frame or simply called the index. So in this example here, we have our players, so the player names. So actually in the most left hand part of our data frame with uh, bold letters, uh, there we can find uh, the index. And the elements in our index are called index labels or also row labels. So for example, this row has uh, the row label Cristiano Ronaldo. And we can also give a name to our index or to our row index. And uh, this is called here the row index name. So here in this example, player, but it could also be name or player name. And then here we have uh, the columns or the column index uh, with all of uh, the column labels. So here we have uh, the headers or the column labels for each column. So nationality, club, world champion, height and goals. And actually pandas is designed in a way that uh, there is an optimal data organization. So we have here as uh, rows uh, the observations, so for example the football players, and each player is actually an observation. And then we have here in the columns uh, the characteristics of uh, the observations. And we can also say that uh, these are the variables or the features of our observations. So for example, the height of uh, the football players is actually a characteristic or a feature of uh, the players here. And actually pandas and uh, the functionality of pandas is uh, designed in a way that uh, the optimal way is uh, that we have only one data type per column. And typically we have here in the columns uh, the characteristics or the features. And uh, for example, here the nationality and uh, there we have here the same data type. So here we have strings, then here in the club column, we have also strings. Then here in the world championship column, we have uh, Boolean values. And here in the height column, we have uh, float uh, objects. And in the goals 2018 column, we have integers. So this is very important and essential in pandas that we have here in the rows, uh, the observations, and here in the columns, uh, the features and each feature or each column should contain only one data type. And as long as we have uh, this structure here in our pandas data frames, then we can be sure we have uh, the optimal or the maximum functionality. And in contrast, if we have in one column more than one data type, then uh, this uh, definitely restricts our functionality of uh, the whole data frame. And therefore we should definitely avoid this and have here the structure that uh, here we have in the rows uh, the observations and in the columns here the characteristics or features. Alright, with this we are finished here with uh, the introduction on uh, tabular data. 
and in the next video we are starting to code. So hope to see you there. Bye!